Hello Jamaica, my name is Charlene Radlin. I am 24 years old and I'm a model full time. My philosophy on life is ask and you shall receive. What I mean by that is, it's a law of attraction. What you put out into the universe, you're going to receive it back. What I love about my culture is the food and the music. Now, I don't care who you are. If you say you can't dance, the minute that you hear some reggae or dance hall, you're gonna get up, start dancing, and everybody around you is gonna include you because as Jamaicans, you make everybody feel like family. And our food, let's not forget now, the amount of flavors that are in it from curry goat, stew peas, oxtail, I mean, it goes on and on. You will never be hungry. You will never even be full. You want to eat so much, you pass out. It's so great. That's what I love about my culture. Being a model is great. I love what I do, but I'm not able to vocalize anything that I believe in. I have a job. I put on the garments that the designer has and I showcase them. Being in this competition would allow me to build that platform and take it to whole new heights where I can get people and groups, organizations to believe the things that I believe for a greater cause, to represent Jamaica, to stand for something, which is what we do. So a story that I can tell you guys is when I was younger, I was bullied. And I mean, growing up from the age of probably eight years old to when I was 17, everyone bullied me. I was this skinny little girl and my feet grew first and my height grew later. So I wasn't able, everyone kind of just picked on me and called me every name in the book that you can think of. It was, they called me a lollipop because my head was too big. They called me a twig because they wouldn't, they would walk right by me and they would just not even see me as they say. So. If I were to choose one word to encapsulate who I am, now that is very difficult. But I would definitely say that I'm self-driven. I never took no for an answer growing up. And my in my household, my mother told me that the word can't is just a word to persevere, to show that you can do whatever you think that you can and hope to accomplish. So if I were to choose a word, I would say that I'm self-driven. In five years from now, oh gosh. I mean, three years ago, I was living with my parents. Two years ago, I moved out on my own. And five years from now, I just hope that I'm able to help someone and drive someone and push someone to accomplish their dreams and their goals. I think that in my life, I have gone through so much. And in order for me to feel very accomplished, I would have, I think it's only fair to give off the knowledge that I have had on a platform and a foundation where I'm able to encourage young women, especially Jamaicans, to have a dream, to believe in the dream, and to go for it.